Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the week show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. Starting the week as expected with the, some runners up from the fan art competition that ended last week and some of these artworks are actually pretty damn good so uh, very well deserved for these players to actually get uh, something out of the work they've done for the competition and thankfully GGG still gave out a little bit more and maybe even more at least once it happened to get a double runners up event so we'll have to see if that happens uh, probably not but it really depends on the number of s submissions that were done anyway we also got some more screenshot of Path of Exile bosses and you can tell how long ago they were done like Fidelitas actually looks pretty good even though his moveset is very much outdated Targa is definitely a generic monster that, I mean, no one really notices, I guess. And you can really tell uh, some details that maybe you never had the chance to. Like, have you ever seen this scar on Kratin's head? I did, really never did, and I've been playing since closed beta or open beta pretty much. So, yeah, that's actually impressive. And you can also tell uh, that the game back then, uh, besides having very few assets, I was really coherent with itself, so the bandits were actually uh, normal players, normal people pretty much. So Alira, you can tell it's a witch and she's wielding a wand, of course. Creating is a dualist, dual wielding, so it all made sense back then. Right now I'm not so sure about that, but still, uh, the game has gone a long way and these screenshots are definitely nostalgic and kind of interesting at the same time. Anyway, we also got some Twitch highlights from the class gauntlet hosted by Zizoran and there are rips, there are close calls, there are very interesting things and niche things as well so definitely interesting if you are in, if you like this kind of thing pretty much definitely check it out you probably have seen all of this already but you never know also there are still two days of gauntlet running even though we already have a winner uh, the gauntlet itself is not done there's more prizes to be taken and where there's more fun to be had, so definitely tune in to the stream and official sh shoutcasting times uh, because that's gonna be really interesting and also if you get to this page, this time are actually displayed in your time zone so yeah, just go to the link I'll put in the description below and you'll be able to see that and GGG is also selling some merchandise or rather all the merchandise that was left over from the Xicon in 2019 and uh, to evade people just hoarding the best things so for example let's be honest everyone will just get these uh, awesome cosmic cat socks right so to avoid that gg is doing mystery bags it identified by their shirt sizes so inside of these bags you're guaranteed at least two poe t-shirts in different designs which is i mean thankfully and one plushie as well Everything else is random and you can see down here all of the combination that you might actually get. So the price is at 100 USD dollars, including or not including actually the shipping. So you have to add the shipping as well. And since you are most likely not living in New Zealand, there's going to be a fair amount of shipping tax involved. But anyway, if you're interested, definitely just email merch at ggg.com and you'll be able to get yours pretty easily it's based again on the size of the shirt so you are guaranteed that the shirt will fit you uh, well most likely i guess but i mean it's still pretty cool and honestly ggg should just sell some of those uh, like that like the socks will sell a lot i think they look pretty amazing and the uh, the anti-stress foam balls are definitely in really really nice like everyone already complaining about carpent tunnel and then GGG selling this uh, exalted orb form anti-stress things so that will be a win-win situation for them of course and not very much for your wallet but I mean this game is not already a win-win for your wallet anyway so it doesn't really matter and also GGG is kind of supporting uh, Kit and Cat Noodles pretty much uh, she's been doing lore videos for a while and uh, for the PoE one, that's definitely the best source for 
uh, compact and linear lore stories where you can actually understand the lore of the game if you play the game and still didn't understand anything, which is pretty normal given how uh, the, the lore is uh, spread out into the game. So you can definitely follow her channel if you're interested. She's also been doing something, some theory, crafting pretty much about uh, PoE2 and GGG. Well, it's they also saying while this is purely speculation. So this is all speculation, but GGG is pretty much supporting this content creator. So yeah, definitely do so yourself uh, if you're interested. It's not that long, and honestly, it's actually pretty interesting. So highly recommended. And yeah, I guess that was all for this week, so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, you should subscribe to my channel. That was all, I have been Host Sorzo, and I'll see you guys the next time.